Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechU. So finally friends, I'm back with another speed test and RAM management test between the MI11X versus POCO F3 GG device. In this kind of speed test, I'm gonna use 15 applications. 15 applications and 5 games. Let's see which phone can actually open them faster and which you phone can actually have them in the RAM management. That is what I'm going to exactly explain in this video. MI11X is of Snapdragon 870 processor and POCO F3 GT is of Dimensity 1200 chipset and both phones are 8 GB RAM variants only. Yes, exactly 8 GB RAM variants. They ready to clear everything from the background memory as you can see. Everything is clean from the background memory which are 8 GB RAM variants. Let's see friends, which phone can actually open these applications faster and which can store how many applications and game in the background memory. And during this process, these games not stored in any kind of game turbo not enhanced at all these games are normally only i did not add them in the game turbo nothing at all so first let's start with the first basic applicant which is a google chrome these are the applications which we use every day normal usage only i did try to include not pretty complex applications let me just start with the google chrome let's see first poco f3 gt little bit but these buttons you can identify this is the poco f3 gt this is the mi linux device you can try to identify the buttons so because both phones they do have the same placement of the punch hole but with different size but still if you are confused you can look at this buttons as well poco f3 gt both phones are uh, completely fine opening same speed instagram open first in the poco f3 gt and let's say that this game dimensity 1200 versus snapdragon 870 chipset so this is going to be really Intense kind of testing, 15 applications and 5 games. This game first opened in the MI Linux device. That's fantastic as you can see. Dimensity 1200 is taking its time. Now it's open in the Dimensity 1200 as you can see. Now let me try to go back to the next application which is Amazon Shopping. Not bad, both phones are kind of close. And the YouTube, first Poco F3 GT as you can see, first Poco F3 GT. So next application is a speed test. Let's see the speed test, which phone can actually open, not bad. Both phones are kind of uh, loading at same pace. And let me try to connect the same server. Let's see, same server I'm trying to connect. And the speed test begin. And both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, 2.4 gigahertz. And let me try to see here, 2.4 gigahertz. As you can see, both phones connected to the same Wi-Fi connection only, 2.4 gigahertz. I'm trying to keep this uh, speed test in the background only. So I forgot to mention the RAM, the Wi-Fi connection. So which phone I connected to what kind of Wi-Fi connection in the beginning, I forgot to mention that. So this now the ML Linux is getting load the speed. As you can see, the speed started to increase and it's going with the speedometer. And I'll try to keep the scores in the background. Just for the demonstration only, I'm trying to keep the scores in the background, that's it. So don't try to, uh, don't try to, judge the phones based upon these results so these are just for the demonstration purpose only so let me need to go back to the home screen quicker and once this phone finished the test yes it's finished and let's see. next is the game which is a candy crush so first i think in the poco f3 gt calculator and facebook poco f3 gt first slightly faster a little bit not bad so both phones are having the same kind of MIUI 12.5 version only, same UI kind of thing. And you can see the difference how it is. A Snapdragon 870 will be the really powerful, like slightly more than the even the Dimensity 1200 as well. In terms of the speed test, opening the games, I did not notice much difference, but just a little bit difference. But in this case, in the MI Linux versus the POCO F3 GT, I think the POCO F3 GT was able to load them faster and quicker. That is what I did observe in this kind of optimization between both phones how it is the miui same miui but different process and different type of optimization in different two phones and next is the paytm let's see this paytm so both phones are completely open the same time at the paytm as well not bad next is a temple run you can see the temple and now it's different like opening slightly slower in the ml next device i'm not sure but just i thought of uh, showing you this kind of things and let me need to go to the next application which is a flip card not bad. Flipkart also opening faster in the POCO F3 GT. And one more thing, the MI Linux device I'm using for the past few months, that's the one thing you should definitely understand. The POCO F3 GT is just a new phone. It's like close to six to seven days of using this phone only friends. So only six days, that is the reason you might be this kind of difference, but I'm just trying to inform you. The MI Linux device I did use for the past three months. So that's another thing you should definitely remember always. After long time usage, the performance will definitely vary between the phones. 
and right now all the games and applications are completely loaded between both phones as you can see absolutely everything now let's start from the back side which is uh, starting from zoom application let's see from the zoom which phone can actually open um, which phone can actually st uh, store how many applications and games in the background not bad and i think most of the time the two rows will be good two rows should be kind of without kind of any kind of issues they should be able to open faster so there should not be kind of much deal in terms of opening the two rows and the temple run also not bad faster let's see friends uh paytm it's good no problem and mintra also good no issues till now as you can see so next the ghana ghana also no problem as you can see friends clearly both are no problem and uh, this game also rolled it as you can see friends clearly so two rows were in the memory in two phones two phones did really great job in terms of uh, storing this kind of games absolutely no issues in between both phones next is a facebook let's see the facebook i just want to see which phone can actually uh, load how many games and how many applications in the background candy crush not bad the ml linux did load the candy crush as you can see friends exactly candy crush also loaded and the speed test speed test okay the results were not there but still on the YouTube, okay, no problem. YouTube also same. Amazon got reloaded. As you can see, friends, Amazon got reloaded in this ML Linux device, and this game is also closed. So close to 15 applications and and the games overall combined. ML Linux has got them in the background memory. But whereas in the Poco F3 GT, still it's going on. Still the Poco F3 GT is kind of going on, I think. As you can see. So in the Poco F3 GT, out of 20. 20 were there in the RAM management, that's fantastic. Even the speed test also I did observe a couple of times the POCO F3 GT taking the lead in terms of the speed test. That's the one thing you should definitely understand. So in the speed test and in the RAM management test, uh, the POCO F3 GT is slightly advantage. Now let's try the last application. Let's come back. As you can see, it got reloaded in the ML Linux device. As you can see friends, it got reloaded. So this is what I'll try to do. After opening everything, I'll try to again come back once and I'll try to see the last row, which one can store how many games and applicants from the last row as you can see it's there flipkart exactly it's there as you can see so this is what this is what is happening mi linux device this temple run did not close ptm also did not close no no problem mintra also no issues ghana also no problem as you can see friends so mi linux is able to store up to 15 total number and whereas the poco f3 gt it went up to 20 as well so this is a quick conversion friends between the speed test and the ram management test between both phones not bad at all for the for the day-to-day -day task you should not have any kind of issues that is what um my motive of this making this video and the final conclusion is that so you should not have any kind of issues between the multitasking up to 15 applications that's what the average user will definitely use 10 to 15 applications including the games as well so thank you for watching and see the next video friends until then stay tuned for more updates in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below see you in the next video friends until then bye